Today I'm going to be sharing with you 9 tips that I do in newborn photography. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it now because I'm going to share different general tricks and tips about newborn photography and the vlog of photographer lives. So this is Q, I'm a newborn photographer in Photo One based in Hong Kong and today I'm going to be sharing with you the general tips. First one, preparation is a key. You have to prepare everything you need beforehand and to provide a safe and a comfortable moment for your newborn baby. Second, time is limit and time is very important in the whole session. Try to ask your parents what time is the baby going to deep sleep but for me in my case usually I don't really care about the baby sleeping time when they come into my studio I will watch about the baby I'll observe them if they are very struggled to sleep getting fussy I will try to do some group pictures at first and afterwards baby getting feed and getting uh, more comfortable they will easier to feel calm and get into sleep so uh, try to observe and try to manage your time in your section if you can do it please shoot natural light but for my case sometimes my studio don't have a really strong natural light so i try to use the flash but pretend it as a natural light because i use a curtain to cover it and the light will um, just shine through outside of the window so it will create an uh, atmosphere like a uh, house full of natural light so it's really good for the baby and good for the whole section I think different photographer is different just make sure you get the light source uh, in the direction that you can control or sometimes uh, natural light is perfect if you can go to your client's home and find a place closer to the window Sometimes I'll use soft filter for that. And fourth, try to use different angle. Be creative, be out of the box. Sometimes you can shoot it at the top and sometimes you can just focus the baby tiny little face, the nose, the texture, the toes and fingers, anything you can find in the picture. Don't focus on just one thing. And the fifth, other than angles, try to experience with the focus. When you focus through tiny feet, tiny fingers, hair, eyelashes, anything and just be creative and sometimes the parents come and hold baby hands it will be so adorable the sixth one try to utilize the texture i like to use some different texture of blanket some baskets some hats into the frame and sometimes i use fake plants, some flowers, some florals after you and just to add more elements into the flame um, but, but remember always making sure you are focusing on the babies and don't let the other texture distract you they just want to add some bonus point in that but the main point is remember to create the depth of feel into your frame but not distract others the main focus should be the baby seven use some interesting pops in perhaps some dolls some tiny little dolls i use very often i use tiny bears and for example in the upcoming year is a rabbit year so i usually will uh, put on some rabbit doll for my baby to hold it uh, in their hands and eight be patient always always be patient sometimes the condition is different sometimes the situation is different and sometimes you are out of control and just be patient and you will get your shot and sometimes the baby is unpredictable so that's why you need to be flexible to different situations for me i always got plan b in my shooting plan if the baby is not sleeping at all maybe they are fussy i won't force them to do different kinds of uh, difficult poses and if they want mommy daddy to hold to cuddle i would just leave them leave the parent to handle it and i would take the snapshot in the whole situation so it is fine to record every single moment in your photo session and the parents will love it they gonna kind of love the pictures last one safety first always remember to support your baby body and the neck the head area if you don't have an assistant just let the parents to help you and sometimes you focusing on the camera 
but for me, always baby is the first, camera is the second, the focal length, the angle, the things I said before, I can just leave it and just take care of the baby and having fun with the little one. And after all of this, I hope you can find the about tips very useful and I hope you can create more beautiful and timeless moment newborn pictures and that your clients will cherish for whole years, for many many years. And this is how it is and this is why I go into newborn photography because your pictures gonna be last forever. By these following tips, I hope you can create more and more timeless and beautiful newborn photo and that your clients will cherish for a long 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 years. And that's it for today. I hope to see you in the next video and thank you. Please subscribe. <laughs> Bye.